blind can feel extremely isolating. You're disconnected to the world around you. You're hearing so much, you're smelling a lot, and you can't see to connect with anybody around you. I've known about my eye disease since I was very young. I've been public speaking about it since I was five. I've learned how to say it for the first time, retinitis pigmentosa, when I was six. Now I would be this little girl and I'd be able to tell you, I have this eye disease and one day I'm gonna go blind. But I didn't really understand what that truly meant until I was in the thick of it and was losing the majority of my vision when I was 13, 14 years old. Black was looking gray and yellow was looking white and it felt like the world was fading. It just seemed less crisp, less vivid. I mean, at the same time, my vision was starting to, to tunnel, which is what is typical with RP patients. I truly felt like a piece of me was dying. When I'm 13, I hope to get a guide dog so that I can be like a regular teenager and be independent. Gallup is pretty much looking out for everything. He is my eyes. And that's why guide dogs have to be the most qualified, the most highly trained, and pass the most amount of tests because they have to train dog to be spatially aware. If there is an obstacle, to figure out the safest way around it to still get me where I'm telling him I need to go. You have to have absolute trust in them and they have to have absolute trust in you. You are together 24 seven and you build such an intense bond. It literally feels like this dog is a part of you, like it is your limb. There's this big misconception that guide dogs know when to cross the street, but that's not true. The blind person has to determine using their ears when it's safe to cross. You're using your ears to determine the flow of traffic. So I have to be able to determine how many lanes of traffic I hear, where my surge is coming from, and I have to be able to listen to my parallel traffic surge and drive straight through before I know it's safe for me to cross. Once I tell Gallup it's safe for us to cross, he then has to do his job and making sure that I made the correct decision. If he doesn't think I've made the correct decision and he sees a car coming or an obstacle that he views as being unsafe for us to cross, he'll choose not to listen which is obedient, disobedient training. It sounds so silly, but every day I feel like accomplished when I cross a really busy street. The Mira Foundation is the first place to ever combine Bernese Mountain Dogs with Labradors. The traits of both combined would make the perfect working dog. You would get the chill, laid back elements of a Bernese Mountain Dog with the passion and loyalty, hardworking nature of a Labrador. isn't just a pet. Gallup allows me to be me, to express myself, to show who I am on the inside to the rest of the world around me. Who is she? <laughs> she is fierce. He provided so much hope to my life, and I wanted to be able to provide that to other people. I am living proof that it not only can get better, it will get better. It's crazy that YouTube has allowed me to fulfill so many dreams outside of just educating and awareness, but to actually get to do things um, like modeling and working in the beauty and fashion industry as a disabled woman, which is really something you don't see. I think what I've given to Gallup is purpose. Dogs love a job, a reason to be here, just like we all do in life. But the hope, the freedom, the independence, the confidence, like I, there's not enough words to describe what a guide dog does for me. He allows me to travel independently with speed, with ease. He allows me to feel open to new situations, to meeting new people. He entirely has changed my life. He helps me become myself, become what blindness has taken away from me. And that is something you could never compare to any other relationship in life.